The Mixars Quattro is a 4-channel club-style mixer for Serato DJ Pro. Now unlike most other 4-channel mixers for Serato DJ Pro, the Mixars Quattro includes software performance controls, something you'd normally find on 2-channel battle-style mixers. For a 4-channel club-style mixer with dual Serato DJ Pro interfaces, the Mixars Quattro comes in at a very competitive price of $999 US. Now if you've been in the market for a 4-channel Serato DJ Pro compatible mixer and have been looking for something with onboard software controls, the Mixars Quattro is definitely worth the look. And in this video, we'll take a look at the Mixars Quattro, go over all of its features so you can see if this might be a mixer that you might be interested in. And if you're interested in more gear reviews just like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel. But now, let's get into the review of the Mixars Quattro 4-channel mixer for Serato DJ Pro. The Mixars Quattro is a 4-channel club-style DJ mixer for Serato DJ Pro that includes two important features that you normally don't see at the sub $1,000 price range software performance controls, and dual Serato DJ Pro audio interfaces. The Quattro also includes features that DJs have come to expect from a four-channel club-style mixer, like channel sound color effects, beat synced effects, flexible headphone cue options, and great inputs and outputs. Unlike Pioneer DJ's four-channel club standard mixers, the Mixars Quattro does not require any extra paid upgrades to use Serato DJ Pro you get full access to the full version of Serato DJ Pro and DVS functionality, which would be an additional $169 cost with said Pioneer DJ mixers. The Quattro fills in a gap in the Serato DJ compatible mixer lineup. The last four channel club style Serato DJ Pro mixer with software controls on the market was the Rain 64, which was released all the way back in 2014 and is no longer available. At less than half the price of the Rain 64, the Quattro follows Mixar's model of providing feature-filled gear at a great price. The build quality on the Mixar's Quattro feels great. It has a nice metal construction. The knobs feel great. The volume faders have a nice tension, but my one big gripe is the crossfader, but more on that later. The software controls are the standout feature of the Quattro and is the best implementation of controls like this on a four channel Serato DJ Pro mixer to date. You can control cue points, looping, the sampler, load tracks, and one feature that's missing even on the Pioneer DJ DJM S9 is transport controls, which allows you to play tracks without having turntables or CDJs attached. If you have experience playing on a Pioneer DJ 4-channel mixer, you'll feel pretty comfortable with the Mixars Quattro. The majority of the features on both the Quattro and Pioneer DJ's 4-channel mixers are found in quite similar places. The microphone controls can be found at the top left the headphone controls can be found at the bottom left, and the beat effects section can be found at the bottom right. The middle of the mixer has your standard mixer controls, with input select at the top, a three band EQ with trim control and channel effects control, headphone cue select buttons, a volume fader, and a crossfader with crossfader assignment on every channel. One difference from the Pioneer DJ four channel layout is that the volume controls for the master and booth are located in the middle of the mixer, much like you would find on a DJ controller, instead of the top right where you'd find it on a Pioneer DJ mixer. This mixer has all the inputs and outputs you'd expect on a four channel club style mixer. As far as inputs, each channel has two RCA inputs, one of which is phono line selectable. You have two microphone inputs, one on XLR combo jack and another on quarter inch TRS. For outputs, you have the master on both balanced XLR and unbalanced RCA, booth output on unbalanced quarter inch TRS, and finally a recording output on unbalanced RCA. The Quattro has two different hardware effects sections, which are both post fader, as well as an external effects send and return. Instead of just having a filter per channel, the Quattro has four selectable channel effects, noise, filter, echo, and crush. The Quattro also has 14 different BPM synced beat effects. You have filter, flanger, delay, echo, reverb, transformer, pitch, loop roll, reverse roll, noise, bit crusher, gate, tape delay, vinyl break, and then finally that external effects send and return. The effects section on the Mixars Quattro is a mixed bag. It's great that they included both channel effects and BPM sync beat effects, 
but overall they don't sound as good as effects you'd find on Pioneer DJ mixers. So now let's demo some of these effects. So first, let's start with these channel effects. So of course, you have your filter. You have your noise. You have your echo, or what would be a dub echo on a Pioneer DJ mixer. Of course, this is post fader, like I mentioned. And then finally, you have your crush. Now let's go over some of the beat effects. So let's try the echo. Okay, now let's try the reverb. Now the reverb in particular sounds pretty bad when compared to the Pioneer DJ counterpart. My biggest issue with the Mixars Quattro has to be the crossfader. As a DJ who enjoys scratching, the stock crossfader just does not perform well enough. It's loose enough to scratch with, but the cut in time, the distance from the end of the crossfader where the channel cuts off to where the channel cuts back on is pretty poor. Mixars probably went with a lower quality crossfader to cut down on cost and because most DJs looking to buy a four channel mixer aren't too concerned with scratching. However, Mixars does offer a higher quality crossfader called the Galileo Essential Crossfader Upgrade. This fader is the same as you would find on Mixars two channel battle mixer, which is built with scratch DJs in mind. And once installed, the Quattro performed as good as any scratch mixer that I've used. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the big highlight of the Mixars Quattro has to be the software controls. And these can be found to the left or right of the EQ section on the Quattro. At the top, you have a deck select switch to select between controlling deck one and deck three and deck two and deck four. You have a browse encoder that allows you to scroll through your library and load tracks. You have a looping encoder that allows you to select loop length and engage your loops. Then below that, you have your eight performance pads with three different pad modes. Then of course at the bottom, you have your shift to get to the secondary functions like reaching that third pad mode and a sync button. The most interesting part of the performance pads has to be the addition of that transport control mode. This pad mode gives you a play pause button, temporary cue point, the ability to pitch bend up and pitch bend down, then access to your first four cue points in Serato DJ Pro. This means that you can DJ with just this mixer and your laptop, even if you do not have turntables or CDJs plugged in. I can see this being useful for mobile DJs for gigs that only require a minimal setup where you don't want to lug around extra turntables or CDJs and you just want something small and lighter to carry. Now one transport control I wish was included was some way to adjust the tempo of the tracks you're playing. Now this can be done by using your mouse or trackpad and moving the tempo slider in Serato DJ Pro, but having hardware controls of this would be much better. Overall, this mixer is a great blend of features you'd come to expect on a four channel club style mixer, as well as features you'd come to expect from a Serato DJ Pro performance mixer. Currently, there isn't a comparable product to the Mixars Quattro on the market. 
for the Serato DJ Pro users that have been looking for a four channel club style mixer with onboard software controls, the Mixar Squatro definitely delivers. It's built solid, has all of the inputs and outputs that a DJ could ask for, and comes in at a great price. The mixer does come up short in a couple of areas. As a scratch DJ, I wish the Quattro came with a better crossfader, but after the Galileo Essential crossfader upgrade, I didn't have any further complaints. The quality of the built-in effects aren't on the same level as what you might find on a Pioneer DJ mixer, but aren't terrible. And finally, I wish there was a way to switch between regular EQ mode and isolator EQ mode for a little bit more EQ flexibility. But when you compare this to the positives of the Quattro, like its onboard software controls, dual USB sound cards, and built-in tempo synced hardware effects, these are all features that you would expect to pay hundreds of dollars more to find on a Serato DJ Pro compatible mixer. So if you are a Serato DJ Pro user that's in the market for a 4-channel club style mixer under $1,000, the Mixars Quattro comes highly recommended. Now we'd like to ask, what features are most important to you when you're looking for a new mixer? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you're interested in more DJ hardware reviews just like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now, get good, get out there, and make the moment.